Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the previous year questions which have appeared in University of Hyderabad PC Entrance Examination in Chemistry from the lesson of Electrochemistry in the year from 2010 to 2013. Activity of a species in a solution is often triple over concentration. If activity Activity coefficient, friction coefficient, and the mole fraction are denoted by A, gamma A, J, chi, respectively. Then which of the following correctly correctly defines activity? The activity, okay, this one is replaced by uh, concentration is replaced by activity in solution. The definition of activity it is the product of uh, activity coefficient. Activity coefficient and a mole fraction. Here the activity is denoted by A. A is equal to the activity coefficient. Activity coefficient is given. This one is the activity coefficient gamma A and mole fraction. The mole fraction is the this one is chi. It's a product of gamma A and chi. So the correct, correct equation is A is equal to gamma A and chi. Doubling all the coefficient in the equation for cell reaction is. We know that the change in energies, if it gives free energy, enter free or internal energy, Helmholtz energy, all these are all energies. All these energies, these are extensive properties. Extensive properties means uh, they depend on amount of matter. Amount of matter you get, or amount of substance you get. So, if you take delta G, delta H, or delta U or delta A, all these depends on mass. When you double the coefficients, means uh, when you double the matter, there is a doubling of um, delta G naught. Obviously, there is a increase or doubling of delta G naught. But if you take E naught, what is the relation between delta G naught and E naught? Delta G naught is equal to minus NF E naught. Here, when you Check E naught, E naught is equal to delta G naught minus NF. So when you double the, when you double the, other, when you're doubling all the coefficients, so there is a doubling of delta G naught and also there is a doubling of N value. So there is a cancellation of uh, the doubling values. So finally you will get uh, a constant value. So when you double the coefficients, there is no change in E naught value. E naught is intensive property. It is independent of amount we have taken. But uh, change in energy, so these are extensive properties. So doubling all the coefficients in the equation for the cell reaction doubles the delta G naught but does not change the E naught. This one is the correct option. For the cell, this is the notation of cell Cu. Cu SO4, Hg to SO4, Hg Cu. The cell reaction among the following is. What is the cell reaction? Here, this one, this one is acting as anode. This one is acting as cathode. Anode, there is a oxidation at anode. Oxidation takes place. At cathode, there is a reduction. So this one is anode. The Cu is converted into Cu2. At cathode, the Hg2 2 plus or uh, Hg2 SO4. This one is converted into Hg. 
So what is the correct option? The first one A and the G both are correct. What is the standard cell potential for the reaction below? What is the standard? Here uh, the reaction is given, the cell reaction Mg Br2 gives rise to Mg2 plus. So Mg is converting into Mg2 plus. So this one is oxidation. This one is oxidation and this one is reduction. The Br2 is converted into Br minus. So there is a reduction of Br2 into Br minus. The standard reduction potentials is minus 2.37 volt for the Mg2 plus Mg off cell and the plus 1.09 volt for the Br2 Br minus off cell. What is the standard cell potential? According to this equation, uh, this uh, Mg, this one is acting as anode, this one is acting as cathode. So E cell, E cell is the reduction potential of uh, cathode minus the reduction potential of anode. So the reduction potential of uh, cathode is given. The reduction potential of cathode is uh, Br2 offset. That is 1.09 minus of uh, this one, minus 2.37. So upon, upon simplification, you will get plus 3.46 volts. So C is the correct option. Doubling all the coefficients in the equation for a cell reaction, already we know the option. There is a doubling of delta G naught, but does not change A naught. Since uh, delta G naught is extensive property, this one is the uh, intensive property. So B is the correct option. The nickel cadmium cell has a standard potential of uh, 1.20 volts. The cell reaction is given. Then what is the standard free energy change for this reaction? We know the relation delta G naught is equal to minus Nf naught. Here the number of electrons, N is number of electrons which are participated in the reaction. Cadmium is converted into cadmium 2 plus. This one is 2 plus. So the number of electrons which are participated are 2. So N is equal to 2 and F Let's take minus 2 into Fe is uh, 96,500 coulombs and E0 is uh, 1.20 volts. So you will get coulomb volts and uh, this many minus 2 into 96,500 into 1.20. One coulomb volt is 1 joule. So this many joules. When you divide with 1000, when you divide with thousand with that many kilojoules you will get. So finally after simplification you will get uh, around minus uh, 232 kilo joules. Okay, this is the correct option. In coming video I will explain the questions from uh, nuclear chemistry in, in the examination in the PC entrance examination of University of Hyderabad. Thank you.